you were five when the war broke out? Mm -hmm. So it's I remember. And it ended. Uh, uh, hmm. uh, at the time, our uh, veterinarian uh, was not Anton, but it was somebody else. Wait, your father's brother was not the vet for your farm? No. Your mother's brother was not the vet for the farm? No, not at that time anyway. Did your dad not like your mother's brother? <laughs> it had nothing to do with it, too far apart. Oh, because he was in Skorp? And you were in Hunstrup. Hunstrup. Yeah, actually. Oh, you were in Munro, yeah. which was different from Hunstrup. Well, it was the same town, same community, same. Uh, same Munro was the name of the farm, though, right? Munro was the location Wait, of the farm. How do you spell the Munro? M Y N D E R U P. Wasn't that obvious, dear? Okay, so Munro was part of the community of Hunstrup. Yes. It's kind of like Newfoundland was part of West Milford. Correct. Okay. Like Five Elves is part of... Newfoundland? No, don't have that on Newfoundland, yes, of course. <laughs> Newfoundland, <laughs> New Jersey, New was part Newfoundland, of West New Milford, Jersey. New Jersey. No, no, it's not Newfoundland. No. That's in Canada. No, no. but you know what? It's Newfoundland, Newfoundland, Newfoundland in, in Canada. Newfoundland was in... Newfoundland. Yeah. yeah, Newfoundland was in Canada. Newfoundland was in New Jersey. Right. Yeah. Okay. So your your the vet of your farm. What were you telling us about the vet of your uh, farm? He came, he came and and I remember him talking to my dad about it that the, the Germans had got, got over the border. Over the Danish border. Uh, yeah, on April 9th of nineteen forty. So you you had just turned five. Yeah. A couple weeks later. before. Yeah. Okay. Wow. And then what do you? I mean. What do you remember about that, though? I mean, what did your father do, and what did you... Well, there's nothing he could do. Mm. But, I mean, did he start hiding things, or did they get very worried, or oh, do no, you even no, remember? No, no, I mean, no. you were I, five. I, I, and, uh, come on, I was five years old. Huh? Right. Um, but you remember... The, 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 you remember the planes overhead, and you remember the rations. Right. Okay, so what, what you had after a while, you had, you know, the ration cards and stuff like that. Uh, and and you, you had to report everything that you produced. On the farm. On the farm. You had to, you had to record that and, and, and uh, report it. But you were able to hide some things. Well, we did, you know. Do you have, like, blackouts if you have planes flying over? But you had to have all your windows covered. Right. So there's no, no light would escape. And they would come around and look. I mean, not that it would matter there on the countryside, who the hell cares? But I mean, that that's that's really the fact of life. Wait, the Germans, the Nazis would come around and look to make sure, or the locals would come around and say? No, it, it would be uh, supposedly, I don't remember who, who actually did I, th I think it was the, the, the Nazis. And so, but was it the Allies then who were flying over Denmark? If it no, were the no, Nazis? The, the Germans, they were flying over Denmark to Norway. So why did the Nazis then require you to cover up your windows? <clears throat> oh, they required that throughout Germany and anywhere, you know, because not to give anybody any, any sign of line Any marks. targets. When right. was Denmark occupied by the Germans? April 9, 1940. 1940. 1940 is when they were occupied? Yeah. Oh, right at the beginning of the war, huh? Yeah. Well, I mean, Denmark and Germany share a border, and no, Denmark sure. had a lot of... I just of, didn't realize it was that early on. They had a lot of resources, right? Well, they were, no, when they, did they, Germany they, uh, uh, occupy uh, Poland? When did they? Was that 1939? 39, yes. September 39. And that's when Neville Chamberlain gave up. That was the start of the war. Yeah. That's not World War II, World War II, yeah. Now, so keep in mind that in, in World War One, which was my, I mean, my grandmother's generation. Um, well, and your yeah, mother was uh, alive. Your mother was a yeah, kid in uh, okay. World War One. So they they were they were all mobilized in World War One, but they were not part of World War One. Right. And they uh, they they had people standing around. The whole coastline of Denmark, which is like Maine, you know, where ins and outs and stuff like that. 
So many feet apart. You had people standing guard there for four years. Seriously? Whoa! Yeah. So that the Germans wouldn't invade? Yeah, that was part of it. And you weren't allowed to smoke. So a lot of people, they started to chew tobacco. Mm. So in uh, even in the, in the 1940s, they still had a lot of people. They were chewing tobacco because that was the thing to do in 19... 14, 15, right. uh, That's what they started doing it in World War One. Yeah, that was the way it got started. Wow. Uh, so, so, so that was that was quite common. So Denmark wasn't part of World War One. No, but they, they were, were defending against Germany coming in. They wouldn't want anybody, but but I mean, uh, so course, they just mobilized Germany. everybody to stand so many yeah. feet apart. And wow. did anybody try to invade Denmark? Not that I know. But that's besides the point. Now, then in World War II, what Hitler had figured out was that he could use Denmark as a food basket in World War II. Right, because you had all the farms. Mm -hmm. They produced uh, like, like, pork, they produced butter, <clears throat> they produced, you had and grains. And there wasn't going to be any, any opposition to him, right? They couldn't fight against him. They didn't have the armies that he did. No, they didn't. See, <coughs> that was another thing. <clears throat> there was a party called the Radicals. That's my